How you doing? It's Chris Turner. How are you? I have a search for a lost silver chain. Uh, very sentimental. This young man told me it means a lot to him. It was given to him by his girlfriend. And I'm coming out to have a look for it. Hopefully I can help him find it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching my videos, everybody. Beautiful summer day, finally here. Vancouver, going to Kitts Beach. It was lost during the fireworks and usually these are the toughest searches because a lot of people hit the beaches right after the fireworks. You lost it by a log, therefore it's going to be a tough one. It should have been found. I'm going to give him a bit of closure. If it's there, we'll find it. If not, I more than likely can find the person that found it, get him the $100 reward, and uh, everybody's happy. Thanks for watching. Bye. Daniel, you lost, you lost uh, a silver chain yesterday? Yes, last night at the fireworks. Last night at the fireworks, and you said you felt it come off. Yeah, it was actually, yeah, I felt it come off in the spot where we were, and it pretty just like fell on the floor. And yeah, it, just it was gone. Yeah, yeah the sand will eat it up. It's pretty yeah. heavy too, probably, eh? Yeah, it was pretty heavy. And you did everything, you dug and dug, dug and dug? We searched there, we searched the whole area for a good amount of time. Couldn't yeah. find it, turned around, went home. Okay, yeah. so I mean, the chances of this being there are slim, you know that? Yeah, very, very but, uh, slim. We, d I do know a lot of people, so hopefully we can get it back to you, okay? Yeah, hopefully. And you gave it to him, yeah. so you want to get it back for him, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Kitts Beach. For all you that have not seen this beach before, this is Kitts Beach, and this is the grid I'm going to be working for Daniel just over there, and we'll see if we can find uh, this ring for, or his uh, silver chain for him. <laughs> Daniel, your your uh, your necklace back on your neck. Yes. Where it belongs. Your sweetie got it for you. How long have you had it for? Uh, probably not even a year. I just pretty recently got it. Not even a year, eh? And how long did it take to find to find it, it today? Uh, ten minutes. Maybe ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm extremely happy for you. Thank you so much for calling me. And you said you found me through the lifeguards. Yeah, through the lifeguards. I came here. Okay. I'm gonna just. The Lost Story, the Ring Finders, and they pass you uh, a phone number? Yeah, they actually passed me the, the brochure, yeah. the phone number and everything, and gave you a call, and awesome. here I got my necklace back. Awesome, <laughs> all good, man. Well, thank you so much, and glad we got it for you. Right, thank nice you. to meet you. Good, good all right, you. thanks, you guys. Right, thank you, man. I found that uh, young man's silver chain. He was very happy. It took only minutes to find that. He put me in a very good area. He put me in a very good area. Here's the lifeguard tower. There's our highs today, low temperature, 25, it's a nice day. There's my brochure. They're kind enough to put it out for people to find. And uh, that was a fun search. I honestly did not think I was going to find it because it was fireworks last night, 100,000 people, plus all the treasure hunters that come out after and search these beaches. It is such a game of inches. It wasn't right by the log. It was about 20 feet away from the log. So that was my only hope of finding it, that it wasn't right against the log. It would have been found that night. So, happy ending. Thank you so much for, for watching, you guys. Any of you out there looking to join the Ring Fighters, give me a call. Thanks.